Hey everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video we are going to take a look at how you can debug TypeScript with the built-in debugger of PHP Storm. So let's get going. So before we get started, I just want to mention that before you can start debugging, you will need the JetBrains IDE support Chrome extension. This is a free Chrome extension that you can download in the Chrome Web Store and I've already installed it to my version of Chrome. So make sure you've done that and then you can follow along with this video. So here I am in PHP Storm and I've opened up a very simple project. In fact, it's the same project as in the last video. So I just have a simple index.html file which says hello world and then includes our test.js file. Now our test.js file doesn't exist right now because I'm using TypeScript and it should be compiled, but this is what our TypeScript file looks like. It's a simple class called simple counter. It has one method count that counts from one to seven and then writes these numbers to the document. And when it's done, it writes all done to the console. So before we can get started, we need to compile this TypeScript code into JavaScript code. And luckily PHP Storm has this built in. And in fact, it already asks me, here it asks me, compile TypeScript to JavaScript. I can say, okay, no, and configure. So I'm just gonna say, okay, and this will create a file watcher that will watch this TypeScript file and recompile it to JavaScript every single time there's a change made to this file. So that's pretty handy. Now, before we go even further, also make sure that your tsconfig file is in order. So if I open up tsconfig file, you'll want to add the source map property to this file and you want to set it to true. A source map helps Chrome to understand that the JavaScript code that it sees is in fact generated from another language, in this case TypeScript. And basically that's all we need to do. Now I can right click on index.html file and I can say debug index.html. And this will open up Chrome. In fact, it will start a new server. This is using the built-in server of PHP Storm, and it will navigate to my index.html file. It will also activate the JetBrains IDE support plugin of Chrome, and then it will say that it is debugging this uh, browser. So now you can see here my code. It says, hello world. This is in my HTML file, and then counts from one to seven. This is generated by my JavaScript file. But this isn't actually debugging. So let's go back into the code here and let's put a breakpoint in our TypeScript file. Let's say I want to break on this line right here, the moment that it starts writing something to uh, the document. Now to restart the debugging, I have several options. I can right click on index.html and go back to debug HTML, or I can use the configuration that PHP Storm has created for us and I can click this debug icon here. Or if you have the debugging pane open, you can just click here to restart the debugging session. Each of those three will be fine. I'm just going to click this one right now. This opens up Chrome again and immediately it switches back to PHP Storm because it has triggered a breakpoint. And this is the breakpoint that it triggers. So right now it has stopped at this line. So you can validate this by going back to Chrome. You can see there's just hello world on the screen. None of my numbers are appearing here. So let's go back to PHP Storm and let's now move along in this code. So here are my navigation options and I can uh, step over a function or I can step into a line. Uh, I can force it to step into and I can also step out of a function. Now, besides that, I can also see the variables that are currently being assigned to my code. So I can see that the count variable equals five. This one is set here. And I can also see that I equals one. So here we say I equals one. And at this point in the code, I still equals one. I can also see some other variables like the document variable that's by default available, the console variable, and of course the scope of the this variable. I can also look at the global variable and this includes all the global variables. This will include a lot of default browser stuff as well. So I'm going to keep that closed for now because it doesn't have anything to do with the code that we're trying to debug. Now also note that PHP Storm displays the value of each variable uh, next to it. So here you can say let count equals five. This is my actual code and next to it, it says count equals five. 
this is the actual value of my variable um, at this point in time. So if I would say somewhere later in my code count equals six, then this will actually automatically update. So here I can also see i equals one and the real value of i at this point is indeed one. So let me now step into this a few times. Let's advance it. So now it is written one to the document. So let's go to Chrome. There you can see it. One is written to the document. We're now passed on this uh, on this line. And so if I advance, it will actually increment the i. And you can see that right here, the i variable is now two. And so if I step over this a few times, I can go back into Chrome and I can debug my code line by line. Now, if I'm done debugging or I just want to continue running it, I can click this icon right here in Chrome or I can stop the debugging here or here or I can just continue running, running the program, whichever you like best. So that was basically it. Now, remember, I've showed you how to debug TypeScript with PHP Storm. But if you're using any other IDE from JetBrains, say for example, WebStorm or IntelliJ, then you can follow the exact same instructions. So that was it for this video. Definitely check out the rest of the series if you want to learn more about TypeScript. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.